Hello friends, becoming a movie star is difficult. Just ask any waiter here in Los Angeles. But for the follically challenged, it can be an even more daunting task than it already is. While Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham command a significant box office clout, the majority of Hollywood films, particularly big budget summer tentpoles, are led by men with impressive quaffs atop their pretty heads. This week on Heat Vision Breakdown, we take a look at films starring bald leading men and examine why it's such a rarity in Hollywood. Let's get this out of the way right off the bat. There are absolutely bald movie stars. Dwayne Johnson is the highest paid actor on earth right now, while Jason Statham may have never had hair, like, ever. But is still one of the sexiest dudes to ever walk the planet and a major box office drop. Bruce Willis losing his locks only served to make him an even bigger badass, and Vin Diesel films where the star rocks a bare dome have grossed significantly more than ones where he has hair. Ever heard of 2006's Find Me Guilty? Didn't think so. Maybe you did, I don't know. That said, there is no denying that the majority of movie stars have full heads of hair. Don't believe me? Well, first off, how dare you? Second, I brought receipts and did the research. In the last four decades, only 20 total films of the 10 top grossing movies from each year starred a balding or bald man. And even then, the data can be skewed by bald actors wearing hair pieces or actors who voluntarily shave their heads. This, of course, excludes Despicable Me's Gru and Shrek from the Shrek movies. Holgers are like onions. <laughs> The Rock and Statham obviously buck this trend, as both are bona fide, proven movie stars. So it's not much of a gamble to team them up in their own spin-off film from a franchise that has been making bank with a bald leading man already for nearly two decades. Still, it is rare to have a project with two bald dudes as the leads. Uh, Breaking Bad? Come on, Dean Norris, no. Hank? All right, well, Dean Norris, yes. But technically, Brian Cranston does have hair. He just shaved it. Also, Aaron Paul. Full head of hair. Yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, dude, Glass. So many bald dudes in that movie. All right. Yeah, kinda, except James McAvoy isn't bald, he just shaved his head. And Sam Jackson, who is bald, is wearing a wig. So you're right and I'm wrong? Yes. I, I'm quit. Actually, let's talk about Sam Jackson a bit. He's the highest grossing actor of all time, having appeared in over 100 films, many of which were installments in incredibly popular franchises. Honestly, when you're part of the MCU and Star Wars, the numbers kinda start to pile up. Over the years, Jackson has appeared on screen with pretty much every do imaginable, from a full head of hair, to a receding look, to a full-blown shaved head. Oddly enough, in 1995, he starred in Die Hard with a vengeance, alongside fellow balding actor Bruce Willis. The receding hairlines of both stars in the film did nothing to slow it down, as it's the second highest grossing film in the series worldwide, only trailing behind 2007's Live Free or Die Hard, the one with Justin Long. I don't get it either. Thank you, Dolores. Willis is no slouch himself. One of the most recognizable faces in the world, Bruce really got his start on the 1980s sitcom Moonlighting. While he certainly had hair during the run of the show, he was already showing signs of male pattern baldness at the time. Director John McTiernan didn't mind at all, and neither did audiences, as Willis turned in a star-making performance in 1988's Die Hard and never looked back. He's been a movie star ever since, hairline be damned. Outside of the movie star realm, there are also a number of notable prestige actors who don't happen to have hair. Oscar winner Yul Brynner was one of the most respected performers of his era. Ben Kingsley has been nominated for four Oscars, won one, has a career that spans five decades, and oh yeah, he was knighted. Have you done that, Alec Baldwin? Patrick Stewart, also knighted, started going bald at 19 and is one of the rare bald blockbuster movie stars who isn't a tough guy like The Rock or Jason Statham. He plays characters known for their intellect. He's also the rare star to embrace male pattern baldness rather than shave his head completely, at least when he's playing Jean-Luc Picard rather than Professor X. Still, there's a stigma. Actors are skittish of losing the locks. Matthew McConaughey has famously been open about his routine for keeping his blonde curls, while Ashton Kutcher revealed on Conan in 2018 that he has been taking hair loss drug finasteride for years. Heck, even Captain America himself, Chris Evans, has been open about his struggles with hair loss. There may not be a large amount of bald or balding movie stars, but that doesn't mean there are none or that would-be actors who may not have Brad Pitt's hairline should give up hope. Being as buff as The Rock or Statham certainly doesn't hurt, neither does having the acting chops of Kingsley or the charisma of Jackson. But there's no doubt that it's a bit of a steeper climb to the A-list for bald actors, at least when it comes to blockbusters. We're likely not gonna see a balding Mr. Fantastic or Wolverine anytime soon, but we will see a bald supervillain in Dwayne Johnson's upcoming Black Adam. Baby steps. But really, I'm just hoping for a One Punch Man movie. Do it. So what do you guys think? Did I leave out any bald actors that you'd like to talk about? Let us know in the comments right down there. Don't forget to subscribe and join us here every Friday morning for new episodes of Heat Vision Breakdown. Did Jason Statham ever have hair?